Good morning and welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. As you know, each weekday a member of the CAM family shares a work from our permanent collection and poses a few questions for discussion. We hope you'll check back each day at 10 a.m. for new work and a new chat. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation at the museum. Over the past year plus, many of us have been living our best lives at home. And many of us have explored new hobbies. I'm looking at you sourdough making folks. Or many of us have re-engaged with hobbies that we've enjoyed for years. In my case, that's knitting. Over the last year, I have several new handmaids that I've created while at home. And it made me think about how hobbies are represented in art. And so I took a bit of a deep dive into the collections database to see how artists have represented knitters over the centuries. And I found one that I really want to share with you. The primary work I'm going to discuss today is this painting, Shepherd is Seated on a Rock, The Knitter by Jean-Francois Millet. Painted in France in 1855-1856, this work is 14 inches tall by 11 inches wide, so not large. Depicted here is a young lady, perhaps in her mid-teens, sitting on a boulder with the boughs of a large leafy tree behind her. To her left, a shepherd's hook leans against the boulder. The girl is wearing a blue dress and cap. Over her dress, a light tan cape with brown collar is draped around her shoulders. Her hands are free at the center to knit. She is knitting with five needles, known as double pointed needles, that are used to knit in the round. She appears to be knitting a sleeve in a dark drab green. In the background and off to the left, you see what appears to be a sheep pasture with the shapes of woolly sheep grazing. For those who knit, this seem, does not seem out of the ordinary at all. We will find any opportunity to knit anywhere and at any time that we can. The shepherdess is likely crafting clothing for her family, one of the many chores she would have had on the farm. In this print, also by Malay, you see the same young girl, this time standing and knitting. This is also represented in this study of a girl knitting by Henry Mosler. This is something I've not quite mastered, standing in and walking while knitting, that takes skill. As I mentioned, this painting was created by the French artist Jean-Francois Millet. Millet was one of the founders of the Barbizon School, located in Barbizon, a small hamlet in the forest of Fontainebleau, located to the southeast of Paris. The Barbizon painters, active between roughly 1830 through 1870, were part of a larger European movement towards naturalism. Most of their works were landscape paintings, but several of them, like Millet, also painted landscapes with farm workers and genre scenes of village life. Some of the most prominent features of this school are its tonal qualities, color, loose brushwork, and softness of form. So let's return to our shepherdess. How has Millet used the tenets of the Barbizon School in this work? Look closely at the brushwork, the color palette, and of course the subject matter. This is not Millet's only work representing working people. I encourage you to do a bit of a search for Millet on Google Arts and Culture, and you will see a delightful selection of works he created of this theme. In closing, I chose this work of art for today's cam look because I've walked past it in the gallery numerous times and I've always been drawn to it. Unfortunately, it's now off view. I know that I'm drawn to it because she's knitting and I marvel at the fact that she can work and knit at the same time. Also, the fact that she's using double pointed needles. This is a feat even the most talented knitter has trouble with and I marvel that she can do it. So my question to you is this. When you look at a work of art that represents a hobby that you are pursuing, are you more critical of it? Do you look at it with new eyes? Um, does your familiarity with the hobby um, encourage you to want to look longer to make sure that the artist got it right? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks and we'll see you soon.